Welcome to Made in Alberta. We're discussing how Alberta's electrical system can go from the most polluting in Canada to among the cleanest and greenest in 20 years. Hands down, this makes perfect environmental sense. But does it make economic sense? It's not a question of, of whether it's possible, it's really, it's, it's more of is it feasible, is it practical to do over the next 20 years? And so that's, uh, and we found the answer is yes to both of those questions. Yes, we have enough resources out there. And yes, if you look at what other jurisdictions have already done, we could be doing it in Alberta. That, that's not to say that, that it's not going to take money to put some of these systems into the ground, but a lot of them can happen very cost effectively today. We know, for example, hydropower and wind power are already more cost effective uh, than natural gas, for example. Whereas energy efficiency, it, it costs money to do something like that up front, but it actually saves you money in the long run. There's already a price on carbon in Alberta, and this is only expected to increase. And it looks like we're entering a cycle of building new electricity generation anyway. So the cost of the existing system is going to get more and more and more expensive. So we need to be looking at what is the 20 year, uh, the 20 year horizon in terms of how costs are going to change over that period of time. The technology of the grid itself will be changing over that period of time. From the old style one way street to a multi lane freeway, providing two way exchanges of both electricity and information. We call virtual power plants in our analysis is, is what's more commonly known now as smart grids. And the reason people are, are really keen on it is it's basically using power a lot more intelligently. Ontario is starting to do this already with they, they're installing what's called smart meters in each individual's home across the province. Uh, so you're going to know what the cost of electricity is uh, at any given moment. So what that means is then you can decide to do things in your home uh, at a point in time during the day when things are less expensive. We are talking about looking at the electricity system in a very different way. We've seen jurisdictions, uh, particularly Spain, particularly Germany, and even, even now the United States, which is actually the largest market for wind power in the world right now, um, they're really getting on board with this change and are really realizing this is the future and we want to be a part of it. And it's really it's a question, does Alberta want to be the leader in that change or be a follower when, when, the, other, when the rest of the world moves in this direction? I think probably the biggest role for government is um, to look for more long-term sustainability in terms of our energy um, production as well as usage. So probably um, one of the key things we could do right now is increase our efficiency. I think we have to expand our effort to look at wind power and solar power uh, to get our rely reliance on the grid reduced and uh, create energy sources that don't make a mess. Probably the best way to look at it is the energy provider of the future is you. Whether you create megawatts with efficiency and conservation or put a small power plant right on your property. Join us again as we further explore Alberta's diversified, renewable and sustainable new energy future. <laughs>